Hey yo, what up bros and brosettes, this is your boy All About The Biz, in other walks of life I'm known as Vernon Devon, yeah, that's me, <laughs> that's me, but today, today is July 1st, if you don't hear from me on July 4th, happy Independence Day to you, happy Independence Day to you, it's a good year to be independent, good country to be independent, may not get what you want, politics may not be working, but you know what? We independent. Anyway, we here. Um, going to be showing y'all a little something, man. Uh, hope I can pass some tips along the way. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm trying to do for y'all today. It's a sample beat. Um, uh, let me see if I can pull up the sample. Uh, sample. Where is sample at? Why am I so unorganized? See, I thought I was ready to do this today, but apparently not. Hold on. Samples. Why samples? That ain't it. Dr. House. Yeah, this is it. Hold on, let me turn it down. Turn the speed down. I believe it was 133. Среди опалов яшин и изумрудов, в лесу из гладиолусов и маков, гуляют гномы, спросите, откуда? Я их в лицо не видел, но однако, когда растается. So basically, man, hey, get out there and do some hunting for uh some samples and just uh take your time, you know, listen to them every now and then, because I've had this sample for a few months. And I've tried a few times. Needless to say that there were failures, but it's okay though. You know what I mean? It's not a problem. It is what it is. So with that being said, I'm going to go to the project picker and let you hear my patterns that I made. <clears throat> Pretty simple stuff. Anybody can do it. It's just a matter of getting in there and doing a little bit of programming. The hardest part is really just coming up with the finding the piece of a sample you want to work with. So let's hear pattern one, which is a drum loop. Pretty simple. Pattern two is just um, pretty much just the same thing. With a, I, add a, I added a triangle to it, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't know if you heard the sample, but I mean the uh, the triangle, but it is there. It is there. I hope you like it. And then we got pattern three, which is just a um, um, pickup of energy by using hi hats. Uh, anytime you got an empty drum loop, you can simply make the, the change the drive of the song by adding uh, adding hi hats. Um, makes the the beat move by dropping in uh, the hi hats and taking them out. But I'm sure you knew that. You are a producer. I'm sure you knew that. So let's listen. Okay, that's pretty much it. Then we got pattern four, which is the same thing um, as pattern three, but a little bit more um, work on the kick. And uh, also a little bit, uh, I think I added a few more triangles. I don't know. Okay, that's pretty much it there. Um, then we're going to bounce around and... Oh, let's just keep going. Here's my sample that I picked out of the song that I did. Okay. Pattern six is the same thing, I believe. But um, I had to do two different patterns because I used uh, I used a pitcher to do like a kind of like an up and down thing with the, uh, the sample without time stretching too much. So it's going to be the same thing. But what I did do on, I guess you would call it the hook, I uh, did a little bit of, um, um, not the hook, on the verse, I just pretty much just uh, cut down the, uh, the time between the loop and the uh, sample. Uh, 
And I believe this one is it too. So that's pretty much it with the sample, man. Um, I have this sample here. Was going to use it. I pretty much changed my mind. Uh, then we have the bass line for the the up part for the up part of it. Then we have the oh crap. Pretty much used that one the whole time on the hook. I mean on the on the um the verse part. Then we have here the down part. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Then I'm gonna use that on the down part for when I pitch uh, the the sample down a little bit. Um here's the breakdown drum pattern. <laughs> Pretty simple stuff. Oops. Crap. What are you doing? All right. Okay. And that pretty much develops my beat besides the automation that I did. Um, I didn't need a whole lot of... I didn't need any more than this. This is pretty much all I use. Um, I'm going to go over the samples that I use. I mean, well, the drums and whatnot. Hey, I use this. This is... Um, an effect that I made in one of my videos. Um, here is a percussion that I use. I think that's a triangle. Yep, that's a triangle. Hi hat. I mean, yeah, the hi hat. Basic uh, symbol. That's my kick. A little bit of reverb on it. Give it some ambience. Ambience. Depending on where you're from, um, I layered it with this kick. Uh, that's my snare. Snap. Good old dance clap. Then we have. I use Nexus for my bass. Uh, oh, I did use this sound. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Where's that pattern at? This just helped me fill it out, fill it out a little bit more, and I felt like I did something. <laughs> when I'm sampling, I be feeling like I didn't do enough because the sample does most of the work besides the drum programming. So I had to do something. I had to go ahead and throw something in there. It's pretty. It's really simple. Nothing to uh, brag about. Um, so that's pretty much it. As far as the samples are used. Okay. As far as the, the drums go, I pull my uh I pulled my the the fattest bass drum back away from the mix a little bit by using the binauralizer. I use that in one of my um uh, I was I did a review on that in one of my posts and one of my uh videos. I pull it back to the to the rear a little bit. I pull it back out of the mix a little bit so it could really knock and not distort. So you could really notice that it's it's hitting and when it's when the sound is maxed out it won't clip because um i i'm it's not going to clip at all mainly because uh i use the limiter the limiter is good as long as you use the functions right there's nothing wrong with the limiter in fact watch some other videos on the limiter i can't really explain it um i'm still learning it learning it myself but please use your limiter not the compressor on your master track. Use the limiter on your master to prevent clipping. You want to set your gain to 1 dB, 1 decibel. And that's going to um, pretty much keep it from um, going too high, no matter how loud you play it. Because, you know, I, I threw it up here and it, it didn't clip that much. It didn't clip at all, actually. And that's thanks to the magic of the limiter. Um, so I'm just going to play the whole beat for you. Um, automation at all. And I'm going to go over a little bit of automation aspects.
All right, that's the beat, man. Um, what I did on the the sample part when I pitched it like that, I didn't. As you notice, that my sample is still the same pattern. It didn't change. And how I pitched it was because I used this uh, thing called Pitch Wheel sixty four. It's awesome. I suggest anybody who's interested in uh, really making time and effort easy on themselves and sampling by get picking up this VST. Um, let me see, pattern five. It makes it really dumb easy. Oh. Oh, okay. Why is it not doing it? I think it's because it's off. Well, anyway, I can't really show you right now because I got the automation set in there and everything. So, in other words, just go pick it up and play with it. This is awesome. It's great. You won't, um, you won't regret it at all. And um, let me see. Just link it to your controller, and then conduct automation as you will with anything else. I use a few gross beats um, just for muting. Uh, on one drop and uh, I use one gross beat thing for the sample just to give it some type of I don't know different feel but pretty simple stuff here man <clears throat> go try it out and I use this to make sure uh, to see where my mix is at it's a pretty cool thing too man um, where's that click on the master because I put it on selected when you put it on when you put when you put your whatever uh, you want on selected um, see it's on the selected track when you put something on selected it applies to whatever you you click so we're gonna look at the master track I hate monophonic samples that just stay up and down in the middle I want it to be wide which it is that's great so it's one way to check out stuff and make sure that, you know, you're using a certain amount of space with certain sounds. But I'm sure my time is up and I'm all about the biz. And yes, I'm all about the biz. Um, do what you do when you see a video you like or don't like. And remember, I'm here for you. Be there for me. All right, bros.